We are learning more details tonight on a story we broke on 12 News at 6 over on WPRI 12. The Attorney General's Office has charged a 56-year-old North Smithfield man with multiple counts of second-degree child molestation. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Michael Langlier went before a judge today where he pleaded not guilty. Tonight, we're learning he was a teacher at two local schools. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts is live in Burrillville with the new details. Amanda? Well, those charges stem from allegations dating back more than a decade ago here in Burrillville, the same time the school district says Langelier was working as a substitute teacher at an elementary school. A Rhode Island school teacher charged with child molestation. The attorney general's office charging Michael Langelier with five felony counts of engaging in sexual contact with a person 14 years of age or under. In Superior Court Thursday, Langelier pleaded not guilty. According to court documents, the alleged acts occurred in the town of Burrillville between September of 2011 and July of 2012. The same time, the 56 year old from North Smithfield was working here at Austin T. Levy School in Harris. As a substitute teacher. Burrillville superintendent telling 12 News he hasn't been employed by the district since 2014. Adding, quote, there were no reports of inappropriate conduct during his time as a substitute teacher here. Most recently, Langelier worked at Sacred Heart School in East Providence as a fourth grade teacher, according to the Diocese of Providence. In a statement, a spokesperson for the diocese said, quote, the school and diocese are not aware of any allegations of teacher misconduct at Sacred Heart or allegations involving students at Sacred Heart. Langelier, who'd been employed at the school since 2017, was placed on administrative leave last Friday after school leaders got wind of the investigation by Burrillville Police. Langelier was released on $10,000 surety bail. He'll be back in court in two weeks. In Burrillville, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.